these are three pipes and th so these are access points for them to get into the pipes and then this water um, you know finds its way from the Sierra Nevadas all the way over to the coast range on the other side of the coast range and it's all by gravity flow okay. I mean it's it's a engineering marvel and and so but as you have the uh, nature uh, the Natural Resources Defense Council and others who I've debated from time to time they say that we ought to do a better job of conservation and recycling water they fill their toilet bowl with Sierra snowmelt they flush their toilet with cleaner water than I and my family drinks they don't have double piping in San Francisco they don't have stormwater capture and so while I applaud the Hetch Hetchy system for what they did many many years ago but it's the people who live in San Francisco don't appreciate what it took for their forebears to make sure that they had the water supply they have today. And they have no common sense when it comes to talking about water conservation when they're actually flushing some of the purest narrow Sierra snowmelt out to the Pacific Ocean through their septic system. Well, they, I mean, the Hetch Hetchy all the way from the Sierra Nevadas to the coast range out of a hundred foot. Um, they own a hundred feet of swath of ground. It comes right through people's farms and ranches and dairies and everything else. And we coexist with them. We've done it for a hundred years. And so the power line and the, and the pipes are on their hundred foot um, right away. And it's not a right away. It's actually their land. They own it. It's uh, fee simple. They own that land. And the agreement was that we can farm over it. And so when we put trees under it, we have a, an agreement that we won't let uh, the trees get within a close proximity to the power line so we don't have any connectivity. And so we've had a great working relationship. In fact, a much better one than what PG&E has. While I was Farm Bureau president, we negotiated um, an agreement with WAPA, the Western Area Power Authority, for allowing orchards under their power lines. We have an agreement with Hetch Hetchy it's just unfortunate that PG&E has gone to, um, you know, taking out all trees under their under the power lines. They don't even want to talk about people are doing due management so that they can maintain still an orchard underneath those power lines. It's, it's irony because the uh, the Hetch Hetchy, the the people that develop Hetch Hetchy, the San Francisco Water and Power Authority, were the same people that did a lot of our irrigation systems. They were engineers, they were people knowing that we had to harness the resources in the Sierra Nevadas for the benefit of all people. They were, we have to store water in times of plenty so that we have it in times of need. And so um, Hetch Hetchy isn't our enemy here. Unfortunately, some of the people that reside in San Francisco have no common sense about what it takes for them to be able to turn on their tap or flush their toilet and how it got there at the price that they are able to, you know, enjoy it. Just like they don't appreciate what we do with our water resources here of growing some of the greatest crops anywhere produced in the world.